Okay, so I am going to look up uh, some information about felon voting in preparation for the argument paper. So what we're going to look at is how the folks at KQED introduced us, gave us the background information for this idea. And that's always a good that's a good piece of advice I can give you. You can always look at how other writers handle the organization of a piece. And in this case, Matthew Green is excellent. You will notice that the first thing that the writer does here is to give you um, conditions as they exist now. So this is how this is how he begins. Most states don't allow prisoners to vote, and some even permanently disenfranchise. Look it up, felons after their release. Should felons have the right to vote, and at what point? This is a little different than uh, writing for the web. is a little different because you tend to want to make sure that the reader gets everything. But still, this is a good idea. Talk about conditions as they exist right now. That gives us information about the background. Okay, so um, now we've got an introduction here. And what the writer does here is give us a quote and then explain the quote. So here's the introduction of the quote. And then this is by way of explaining it. So, um, you've got an expert here. Here's an expert. And here are important stats and facts. Again, this is all by way of talking about background. What's great about this KQED Do Now blog is that you also get lots of other resources here, including I think this is an interesting one here, and that's the one we're going to go to next. And we're going to look at, again, we're going to look at background, how to provide background information. For whom? Your reader. Excuse the misspelling. <laughs> 